Hello and welcome back to Warsword Conquest. This is a really, really weird situation we're in right now because apparently Kislev is becoming desperate, which for me personally, I'm very happy to hear because I do not like them one bit. Yes, sure, you know, I definitely have respect for how they are, you know, doing their own thing and how their units work and all that stuff, but they're... Eye switches are the entire reason why they are actually um, viable. <laughs> I, I don't want to, I'm not going to mince words here, you know. That is literally the entire reason why they are doing anything of note. Because they just do so much for them. They give them ward save. They give them these polar bear things that they just continue to summon over and over again. It's very, very difficult to deal with them. Anyway, I'm just going to have to do a little bit of um, unit manipulation here because I really do need to get to the front. Can you... Uh, can, can you guys... Can you, just, can, you just, can you just move real quick? Can you just move? Thank you. Yes, yes. Just a little bit more. Thank you very much. Okay. Whew. That is all I wanted them to do. Yeah, okay. Now I can finally get into the action, and this is where we want to be. Obviously, I do want to be a little bit closer, right? I do want to be, you know, outside, but at the moment, I'm just going to try to maximize survivability for our own forces, because that's going to be the thing that will mostly matter at the moment. Obviously, no more blood frenzy for me right now. Okay, so here's the thing. Now I want to move these guys over there, or somewhere out of the way oh how annoying isn't it annoying that there's an invisible wall on the battlements because i can't jump out uh maybe i should have just gone into a battle with these guys actually i don't know i kind of felt like if i went into a battle um we'd probably have some issues because Going into a battle is definitely going to make it a lot worse. Oh, I'm summoning Demon Princes of Corn whenever I enter Blood Frenzy. Well, that's hilarious. And they actually enter... Wait a minute. They enter Blood Frenzy as well. And they summon more Demons of Corn. Okay, that's very funny. Wow. That is an extremely powerful ability now. Okay, so yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I am literally... I'm gonna do something really stupid right here. I'm gonna be telling my forces... Wait a minute. Oh no, see, look at the invisible wall. It doesn't actually allow me to tell them to, to hold position where I want them to go. So I'm just gonna put them wherever I can. And uh, yeah, basically we're just going to do this so that I can get to the front. Because extreme, you know, extreme measures and all that stuff, you know, just gonna have to do that. Then we're just going to tell everyone to charge. That's it. Just going to tell everyone to charge. And then we're going to get out there ourselves. And I think that's actually it. Yes, never mind. We've already killed all the enemies. Okay. Well, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Don't really need to worry about it anymore. I got to say, I'm actually very much enjoying being a Herald of Corn. I think it is extremely fun. I think that it is not really affecting my efficiency when it comes to being in the battle i know a couple of people have said that it's really really difficult to um you know complete dungeons and so on and so forth and yeah yeah okay i can i can definitely get behind that it is more difficult from a can i hit these enemies kind of uh you know kind of perspective but apart from that i don't really care you know because these guys are just taking they're just literally trying to attack and they're doing very little okay so yeah now here's the here's the funny thing this is exactly the reason why i said that it, this was a really weird situation at the start of the episode because look at these guys right here they were really close but the others went in first and it didn't allow them to join and it was so funny because there's there was only 200 of them and now there's 350 so technically we would have been fighting against 500 units and that would have been crazy you know that would have been very very powerful for them to do but unfortunately for them they uh, jumped the gun a little bit and it didn't really help them so yeah 
Anyway, uh, yeah, the main reason, by the way, why the Herald of Corn is so effective, at least I think, you know, why it's so effective, is because of the uh, the new armor. The new armor is not actually as heavy as my old armor, and as a result, it has basically almost maxed out my dodge. Because I have 8 in athletics, and that basically makes it very, very high likely chance, high chance for me to dodge pretty much every single attack. Um, not every single attack, of course, because I do have ward save as well, which definitely makes a huge difference. But the, the main concern, of course, is the um, you know, is the dodge, really. Because ward save is going to work no matter what. I can't even see anything right now. I literally cannot see anything. Um, oh, there we go. I'm surrounded by enemies, apparently. There we go. It's gone now. Alright, that's fine. Um, yeah, so what was actually happening right there? Because I was summoning Demon Princes of Corn before, but now I'm only summoning Blood Letters? What's actually going on with that? Why, why was I summoning Demon Princes of Corn beforehand, and now I'm only summoning these guys? I don't know. Oh, well, it's not that big a deal. These are free units, after all. I mean, really, come on. How can I complain about free units that are, you know, very dramatically going to be assisting us? Okay, come on, kill that. Yep, thank you. <laughs> Just kill the eye switch immediately. Yes, thank you very much. Miss me with that, because come on now. We really do not want to be having any kind of eye switch action going on here, because that is just frustrating, annoying. You know, some of the, the greatest efficiency that the eye switches have is literally just being able to summon polar bears over and over again. And that's actually the reason why, in my opinion, not even the ward save, even though the ward save is very, very strong, but not even the ward save is actually that big a deal. It's more the, the case that they're able to summon these polar bears every 20 or 30 seconds. And that, that dramatically changes the power dynamic when it comes to the, um, the, the siege itself and, and any battle as well. Because obviously, if you think about it, you know, think about how many bears are going to get summoned. It's actually kind of crazy. Because, you know, think about it, over the course of a, of, of a siege, it's going to be, what is it going to be? I don't know. I mean, you saw how many bears were summoned previously in one of the uh, earlier episodes when we were fighting against them and they had two or three eye switches at once and I couldn't actually find them. Oh, there's an eye switch over here. I need to kill her immediately. Get her dead. Thank you very much. Come on out. Yes, thank you. And she was barely able to do anything. So that's really, really wonderful. Basically not allowing her to summon the polar bear immediately is certainly the way to go. Thank you very much. Certainly don't want that. Um, yeah, but I am actually really, really hoping that we're going to be able to eliminate... Where, where's the last guy? He's over here. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually really hoping that we'll be able to eliminate Kislev. Because... No offense right now, but I think they are probably my most hated faction right now. It's super, super funny, actually, really, as well. Because for me personally, um, my opinion of Kislev beforehand, before fighting all of these eye switches, was that I didn't mind them. I thought they were fine. I, I didn't think there was any problem with them whatsoever. You know, they were, I, I, had, I had very little opinion on them at all. I thought, oh, yeah, you know, they're just... Uh, you know, another another human faction, and they just tend to specialize in ice magic and, uh, you know, all that stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. You know, that's absolutely fine if they if they want to specialize in that. Okay, that's, that's great. However, the trouble arrives when, uh, yes, when you actually put them into sieges with those polar bears and they summon them constantly yeah very very powerful indeed all right so now i'm thinking to myself should i actually start increasing my agility further and actually get 30 agility because technically i could do that if i wanted to i could go for 30 agility I, I don't know whether that's actually even worth it because just think about this i'm starting to get to a point now where i am going to be extremely lucky to level up at all because well, as you can quite clearly tell, I need hundreds of thousands of experience to be able to even get to the next level. So I'm going to need, I don't even know, um, what, what is it? Mm, 
100,000, and if I kill, I don't know, uh, it's like, I, I, I'd I need, uh, what, 1,000, 1,000, 2,000? I don't even know, 2,000 kills or something like that? I actually don't know. Anyway, I'm thinking also charisma, though, because at the moment, my wages are insane. Do I have enough agility? I think I might have enough agility. So let's just go for charisma here, and I'll go for another point in Iron Flesh, because I want to try to maximize, wait a minute, yeah, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll do that, we'll do that. There we go. And there we are, okay. Right. So, um, apart from this, I obviously would love to be able to capture um, other towns, right? I'd love to be able to capture other fiefs. So, I'm thinking that we're actually going to go into Prague and actually try to take this. I think, personally, for me, I should with a little asterisk on that, should be able to take this. Mm, maybe. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. If I can take it, this is going to be great. If I can't, then well, you know. But I should be able to take this. It shouldn't be that much of a difficulty. But the one thing that I'm... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Took 38 damage. And I actually only took... Um... Only took 14 damage. Ah, yes, the eye switch. There's three of them, I think. Oh dear. Ah, oh, there's the ward save. Oh dear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so in pain right now. This is not good. All right, the best thing I can do is just enter Blood Frenzy and clear out the battlements. And then try to locate the eye switches as soon as possible. I think they're probably going to be on the back line here somewhere. Um, if I can actually do that, because ward save. 50% uh, chance to avoid complete damage they have right now, as far as I'm aware. So that's really harsh. There's my blood letters coming in. Okay, come on now. Get me in there. Okay, it's not really working out too well, is it? I just, I literally just need to get inside. Can you please just let me get in, please? There we go. Thank you. All right, there's the, there's one eye switch. Let's kill her. Come on now. There's two. There's two of them. Yes, one's dead, one's dead. Another one's dead. Okay, fantastic. Where's the other one? There is another one for sure. Where is she? That's the question. I don't know where she is. Um, I am just going to, by the way, I am just going to continue killing at this point. I'm not going to wait for the Blood Frenzy to cool off. I'm literally just going to continue the slaughter. Because as it happens right now, I just need the free units too. Because obviously if I have uh, Blood Frenzy actually activating. Why are my people coming? Why are you, why are you charging? You absolute imbeciles. Why are they charging, by the way? I did not want them to charge. Why did they do that? I didn't tell them to do that. I told them to hold position. Is it because I summoned the blood letters? I can only assume that is the case. If that is indeed the case, then we're going to lose huge amounts of troops here. This is really bad. Okay, yeah. This is really, really bad. Uh, this is not what I wanted at all. I actually wanted my forces to hold position for infinite amounts of time, basically. Because... Obviously, if you know anything about, you know, how this works, then it would probably be a good idea to just keep my forces back and let me do most of the heavy lifting. And then they can come in to clean up after the fact. Uh, but yeah, obviously, as it stands, that's maybe not going to work. I don't know, but we seem to be doing a relatively decent job as it is. And how many have we killed so far? Only 100. Yeah, that kind of... I'm not entirely sure how that even works, because it feels like I've killed so many more, doesn't it? It feels like I've been here for quite some time, but no, it doesn't. You know, it, it, it isn't like that in reality, which is very strange. Okay, well, I'm just going to kill this guy if I can, thank you. Get him out the way as well. These ward saves, really. Uh, I, I think they still have ward save at least. Okay, he's dead. Alright, so where are they actually coming from now? Are they coming from over here, or are they coming from over here? No, they're coming from over here. Okay. Is there an invisible wall? There is. Okay. 
I, I can, can I start a petition? Can I start a petition right now and, and actually just ask for the invisible walls to be removed in all these sieges? I don't know if that's a functionality that is even possible, but for me personally, I do not like them one bit because on the one hand, yeah, sure, they definitely guide the action to in a certain direction, which is obviously, you know, dependent on if the development team actually wants that to be a thing then obviously that's fine. You know, if they if they want that to be the thing, you know, to do, then sure, okay, fine. You know, I'll, I'll learn to live with it. But I would so, so prefer being able to just jump off wherever I want and go wherever I want and so on and so forth. You know, because that's the thing. I'm actually not entirely sure. Would that even give me an advantage right now? Because maybe I wouldn't even be able to get back up here. Maybe that's the reason why there is an invisible wall. I don't know. I have no clue. Um, but we are going to have to fight a pretty hefty amount here. And I'm not sure if you want to see all of that. Because as you can tell, we're pretty impervious to damage here. I'm not entirely sure if anything can actually kill us now. I'm pretty sure it can. Maybe a, a spell of some kind. Maybe. I mean, I don't have, I don't have that much magic resistance. Um, well... If I equip the other, if I equip the Axe of Change, then I probably would have quite a lot of magic resistance, actually, all things considered, but yeah. Um, otherwise, I am just going to, you know, see what happens here. And after this, we might do another Mark of Corn challenge because I would like to level that up. We're going to get to 40 in strength as well, which is going to be pretty funny. And it's also going to upgrade a number of our other skills, which is obviously super nice because if I can actually upgrade the ability to summon uh, Demon Princes of Corn, because obviously, as you saw, we were actually summoning quite a few of those, but for some reason we're not getting any of those now, which is a bit weird. Not sure why that's not happening any further, but anyway, um, yeah, this should be a pretty much open and shut case here. All right, so that is all she wrote, and we managed to take Prague with very, very little issue. There you go. Done. We unfortunately did end up losing 42 units, which is exactly the reason why I was perplexed as to why my forces were charging in. But we did also get 42 renown for it. And we also gained 247 kills. And you can see here that the Ice Maiden actually was able to get 18 kills. Funnily enough, I am actually summoning... It is random, by the way, by the looks of things. I am summoning some Demon Princes of Corn as I enter Blood Frenzy quite often. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we also look at that. We get another, uh, another opportunity to rescue some Demon Princes of Corn. That is wonderful. Absolutely love being able to rescue so many chaos based units i think they are i think it's super fun to do that and we also have the ability to rescue 26 chaos zealots which is insanity because if we can find a cult master we're going to be getting so many of some kind of unit i'm actually not entirely sure which unit it is anyway i'm going to request that this be awarded to me because i took it so come on now you know I need it, thank you very much. And uh, what, there's no one in here? There's literally no one in the tavern whatsoever? That's actually quite funny. All right, so we're just gonna sell all those prisoners. There's no real point otherwise in keeping them around, is there? I don't think so. Uh, we can probably sell that armor, to be honest. Masterwork, Herald, Axe. I mean, these are all masterwork and everything. I, I do need to sell the dragon bow, don't I? Because I don't think there's actually anyone that can really use it appropriately i don't think at least i i don't know maybe there is maybe there isn't i don't know anyway i'm just gonna wait here for some a little bit of time at least as we would like to recruit from here the other place is looted that's looted we might actually get ownership over this it would be pretty cool if we could get ownership over it but it's highly unlikely in my opinion just going to put these into the garrison here as well. Let's get some more of these guys. Unfortunately, quite a few of our knights and warriors and so on and so forth have been eliminated in these sieges. Super, super strange. You know, that's the funny thing. You know what I actually like to do? I would like to go into a battle, literally a siege, by myself. I think I could probably handle it, maybe. Um, and I'd like to see what actually happens. I'd love to have a cult master as well. Can we actually find one? Do you think I can find one before this gets taken or something? I highly doubt it, right? 
I mean, that's the funny thing. I'd love to be able to capture all of these castles as well. Maybe I can actually capture these castles. I don't know. Do you think I can capture them? I don't know. It's probably going to take a huge amount of investment to do that. They, you know, they have around 300 troops every single time you go in to them. Ah, okay. He's actually giving me the castle. Okay, that's nice. Okay, he's giving me the castle. That's great. And... Prague has been besieged. Okay, I'm going to run back there as soon as possible. Okay, this guy. Are you joking, sir? Okay, yeah. Well, we don't have any food right now, so that's obviously pretty terrible. So, let's just buy some of this. There we go. Uh, is there anyone in the tavern now? Really? Do you, do you not want to populate the tavern? Okay, apparently not. <laughs> not entirely sure what's going on with that. Anyway, um, yeah. So, we should probably put some of these guys in there. Just going to put random, or, you know, basically just a random assortment of units at the moment. And let's uh, let's go and seek out the followers of corn, shall we? Because we can get another mark. I have no idea how many marks you can actually do. Um, but, um, yeah, it, it should be... I don't know. I mean, maybe it's unlimited? Or... I, I don't know. I have no clue. So, yeah. But this is going to be pretty easy for us if I am correct i don't know whether it will be but it feels pretty simple um but i don't know whether that's going to always be the case i mean obviously if i can just maintain my range that's all i really need to do just maintain range and try to just dodge everything obviously you're going to need to perform qtes to be able to dodge that's the reason why my current actions per minute on my keyboard right now are over 10 billion because I'm obviously doing the QTEs at the same time as commentating, as well as attacking and moving back at the same time. I have a third arm as well, which I'm using to actually accomplish this feat. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. It's all thanks to the radiation, of course. You know, you've got to go to, you got to get that Nuka Cola, you know, you got to get that Nuka Cola, you got to go to, yeah, you got to make sure that you go to that place, Super Duper Mart, you know, Super Duper Mart, then go back to Megaton, and then you're going to be absolutely fine. You'll have that third arm after you do that quest for that one woman and then it's going to be great yeah 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 you, you understand what i'm saying obviously right oh oh oh, oh. am i gonna die actually if i die here then everyone can say that i am terrible and that's going to be very sad so let's try not to die okay there we go nice okay Whew. i was a bit worried there for a second okay uh, yeah, that was that was a bit close. For some reason, I always get really low in HP doing these doing these things, even though you know the entire time I am at a pretty high level of HP, and then all of a sudden I start to take damage, and it's pretty crazy. Anyway, there you go. There's level 35 for us as well. Actually, perfect to get that. And here we go. Okay, so demons are going to do that. And these abilities will grow stronger as you rise in his estimation. So we now have 15. I don't even know. What is the maximum? <laughs> what, what is the maximum here? I don't know. It's going to be crazy. Okay, so we are getting even more really, really amazing stuff here that we can sell for a really good amount. Oh, wow. Yeah, I should probably get rid of some of this. Oh, no. See, now I, this is the funny thing. I just purchased all this. Ah... Okay, yeah, well, we'll just take that. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, I'll just take that. And is there any dual-wield weapons here? No, I'm not seeing any dual-wield weapons. Kind of sad, actually, that there aren't any. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, let's go back in here. 17,000. All right, so let's actually have a look. So I'm just going to sell this. Yeah, look at that. Look at how much we're getting from this. Because we, we are at such a high level now that we are just getting such amazing loot. It's pretty crazy. Okay, there you go. There's another 16,000 for us. I actually want to find that guy, Marcus. I want to find Marcus as soon as possible if I can. But obviously, it's a little bit difficult for us to do that, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Because if I can find Marcus, I'm going to be able to purchase those amazing... Uh, sweeping blades or whatever they're called. I can't remember what they're called, but uh, as far as I'm aware, they are like Skaven coded or something like that. I'm actually not entirely sure, but the fact is, if I can get those, close quarters combat is going to be very different. It's going to be an exceptional thing to do. 
So I'm kind of hoping that maybe we're going to be able to do it. I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to find him. I mean, technically, I know how to find him. I uh, have to enable two types of cheat menu to be able to do that, which is kind of weird. Oh, there's a script error coming in. Oh, this is the first time I've actually seen a script er error in a long time. It's because my demons are spawning in. It could be that I'm spawning too many demons now, or maybe I'm not meant to be at this rank. I don't know. Am I meant to be at 18 or, f or 15 or whatever I am? I don't know, actually know, but... Yeah, we are doing exceptional right here. Galthak has leveled to 10. <laughs> oh, what a funny guy. Yeah, what a funny guy. Oh, yeah, someone said that I should try doing a champion thing. What about Thrud? He's a chaos guy, right? So do you think we could actually do the champion, uh, the, uh, the companion thing? So make, make it so that Thrud can actually go into one of those... Um, one of those trials of corn because someone said that maybe I should try that out and I don't know whether it's actually going to work I have no idea so maybe it would make sense to try right it would probably make sense to try so let's have a look so let's see here I'm just going to level up Galthak first of course get him some more points in engineering make him just that much easier to uh, you know construct those wonderful wonderful ladders that we all like and we're just going to continue leveling these guys Wonderful. All right. Perfect. Okay. So, Mr. Thrud, become my champion. Okay. So, let's have a look. Is it going to work? I don't think so, somehow. No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, it doesn't work. So, um, yeah. There you go. We, we can't actually use the champion system to level anyone else up. Which is a little bit sad. It's a little bit sad, but, uh, you know, just imagine how that would be. You know, you would literally be able to yeah, take generic Chaos Companions, and if you gave them, like, legendary weapons or whatever, you could potentially get them to uh, rank 13 with the Mark of Corn, and then they could become Heralds of Corn as well. I mean, technically, you could actually do this, nevertheless, by... Uh, just, you know, going into the cheat menu and just getting the armor because technically it is an item so you don't necessarily need to do this but obviously if you want to get the attack speed bonus and all the other things then of course it is pretty much required to do the to do the trials but, you know, if you just want the look and you want to run around with a bunch of, bunch of guys that look, you know, really scary and so on and so forth then technically you could do that already, you know? Technically you do that already, but yeah, as you can see, the champion thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Would have been cool, but yeah, we're, we're actually doing much better than we were beforehand in this one. Not sure why that is. Is it because I'm switching switching directions? Maybe it's because I'm switching directions in, in the way that I'm attacking right here. Because I'm not actually blocking at all. I don't see the real need to block at this point, because if I do block... I'm just not attacking, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm actually killing enemies almost instantaneously every single time I hit because Mighty Blow is activating almost all the time as well. That's enabling me to do even more damage. And uh, I can actually go toe to toe with these guys right now. Look at that. That's absolute insanity. Whew. That was, see now that's exactly the reason why I, I was kind of questioning how am I taking so much damage in that previous one? I have no idea. But we're gaining super, super hardcore amounts of stuff now. Really, really loving that. And let's just take all of this, every single thing. I'm just going to literally just swap out a bunch of stuff now. Swap out a bunch of this food and everything. There we go. All right. You've only got 1,600 there. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that. All right, so let's go over to Stromstart, I guess. This is a little bit unfortunate because here's the thing. Uh, Prague is definitely going to come under siege. I'm pretty sure it will. Oh, the potion of instability wears off. No wonder I was dodging so much. I literally still had the potion of instability active. I didn't even realize. Okay, I didn't even realize. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, that makes all the sense in the world now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that really, that, <laughs> that really just says everything you need to know. Uh, that was pretty crazy. Okay, let's actually have a look and see if I can find some dual wielding axes. I don't see any right here. I've actually been looking for dual wielding axes quite often, but I'm never seeing them for some reason. I don't know why, but I never get lucky in that regard. 
So it's a bit strange. It's strange, but um, yeah, just pay whatever you can. Uh, what else do we have available here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, what about in the tavern? Please have something really nice. Please let there be Marcus or one of the legendary uh, one of the legendary merchants, maybe. Oh, there's an Ogre Gorger. I will hire them. Um, who else do we have over here? Yeah, that's not really going to work. Okay, we could go over to Ascraved. I guess we will. Prague has been besieged. Okay, fine. I'm going to go back there real fast. I don't want to lose it if I can help it. Okay, hello. Wow, you've got literally no people there, sir. Okay, yeah, he has literally no one. Okay, this is super funny. He's got 70 troops. That's You might as well consider that nothing. So, yeah, let's actually just do this. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to defend this appropriately. Um, ooh, hello there. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I am literally going to renounce our oath right now. And we are going to renounce your oath and rule your lands, including Prague, in your own name. There we go. That's what we're going to do. So the Realm of Chaos is now at war against us. We're going to be appointing a prominent citizen from the area. Thank you very much. And the Kingdom of Prague is not what we're going to call this, that's for sure. We're going to be calling it... Oh, dear. I have no idea. Chaotic. Should I go for a stupid name or should I go for a slightly cool name? What about... Um... Chaotic Dimension? Yeah, yeah, just, no, no, I'm not really a big fan of that. Not really a big fan. Okay, what about... Hmm, what about something like Stellar Chaos? Or something. I don't know. That's, that's kind of bad too, isn't it? That's kind of bad. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, okay. So, obviously, we have a domestic policy. This is actually the first time that we've done this, really funnily enough. Okay, so, high centralization reduces tax inefficiency for the king and raises it for vassals. Okay, uh, yes. Quite. Um, high aristocracy will improve the relations, but it will decrease trade. Let's just do a little bit of aristocracy. I have served him. Reduces tax inefficiency of the king, but troops lose morale. Okay, usually serves is absolutely fine. High troop quality increases the combat strength of troops. Yeah, we're going to go for great quality here. And mercantilism. Uh, high mercantilistic policies maximize exports while minimizing imports. And increases government regulation of industry. I'm actually not entirely sure what that even means. It doesn't seem to really give you a, a good overview of what's actually good with that. So I guess a little is absolutely fine. All right, so we are now at war against chaos, which is very funny. Um, and we're no longer having Prague be under siege, which is obviously fine. So I can no longer recruit from these places, which I have to say is a little bit unnerving. Because I'm no longer going to be able to do those things now. And I can't go into the uh, the various um, the various areas here. Now, actually, you know what I'd like to do? <laughs> you know what would be really, really fun for us to do? I want to make peace with Chaos. And I literally want to continue attacking Kislev. I do not like them at all. So much so that I am willing to make peace with Chaos instantly. And if I can just, even if I have to pay, you know, even if I have to pay a significant amount, I am still happy to do that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just purely because I, I don't like them one bit. I really don't. Okay. Technically, I could go and take that town, I guess. That would probably be the easiest town for us to take. But the problem is I'm going to... Ah, yeah, you know what? I'm going to need to recruit some people first. So let's just continue recruiting some people from here. And from here as well. Thankfully, people are not actually raiding my villages that much, which is quite strange. Um, but yeah, okay. There's also a dungeon here to do. Maybe we want to just go into the... Should I go into the dungeon? I don't even know. Is that even something that is is even viable nowadays? I guess it is kind of viable, right? 
I don't know, maybe it's a good idea, maybe it isn't, but we can go over to the town here. I've placed a lot of people in the garrison, so maybe that's going to prevent... <laughs> okay, never mind. Apparently it's not going to prevent anyone from doing anything. This guy is coming in. Okay, wow, that's actually a lot of people. Right. Uh, should I have gone into a battle with them? Probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. That might have made not much sense, but... I kind of wanted to. Oh, well, never mind. Let's see what happens. All right, so before we go into the siege, because this is obviously about to happen, you know, we need to be a little bit careful about this. Before we go into the siege, let's actually just level up our charisma once more, because we do want to get to 15. I'd like to actually get 18 in charisma, if at all possible, because that would be pretty fantastic to get six in leadership. I think that would be kind of fun. We're going to go for another point in Iron Flesh here. And then we're just going to put some points in one-handed and so on and so forth. That's absolutely fine. But yeah, they're about to go in and I'm... <laughs> I really... Oh, I really hate these people so much. Oh, I really don't want to... It's just the eye switches, yeah? It's just the eye switches and the polar bears. That's the reason. Anyway, I'll accept that just because I want the money. Um, but <laughs> I, I really want those dual wielding blades. Oh, oh, they're actually running. They're actually running away. Oh, that was a huge mistake on their part. Whoa, we were facing probably almost a thousand troops beforehand. But now there's only 429. I guess we're going to get to see what the annoying thing is about, um, about chaos in just a moment. Because obviously beforehand, we know that ice witches are the most annoying thing about um, about Kislev. But uh, about this, I actually don't know. Let me actually just do something real fast. These are annoying. Can you please get out of the way here? Nearby soldiers, please. Please, just go. Just go over there. Please. Oh, dear. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to hope that some of these guys just get killed. I don't want Thrud to get killed, though. That's the thing. He's going to be so incredibly useful for us. Okay, well, I'm just going to try and kill this thing, whatever this is. That's a Demon Prince of Slanesh. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I'm, I'm actually wondering how, how effective these guys are actually going to be against us. Because if you think about it, um, if they don't have eye switches and they don't have ward save, this should be even easier for us than, than attacking Kislev, right? Is that true? Is that actually going to be a, a true true thing? Um, seems like... Wait a minute. Who's that right there? Is that... Um, is that Valkyria or whatever her name is? Well, I, I actually I can't remember what her name is. Oh, no. See, look at that. I'm just disrespecting them all over the place right here. It's quite funny. Okay, so... Obviously, I'm in Blood Frenzy right now. If I can just cleanse that, then I'll be pretty happy. Because then I can continue summoning Blood Letters and or Demon Princes of Corn. But I have a feeling that they're actually not going to be able to do much. Uh, can you... Ah, oh, can you move? Uh, well, well, what, what are these guys doing, actually? Oh, dear. Okay, ah, wait. Here we go, here we go. Tell them to go over there, please. Uh, can you move? Yeah, yeah, can you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go back there, go back there. Come on now. I need you to literally just move, fellows. I need you to just move. They are being so useless right now. And they are just continuing to run in there. You know what? You know what? I'm going to do the unthinkable. And I'm going to tell everyone to go back from the main, main lines here. Because it is frustrating, okay? It is frustrating to have these guys literally just being super, super stupid about things. Because this is going to be so much easier for us now. And you'll see why. Obviously, after I get a couple more kills. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay. Blood letters. I'm just going to stand in the way here now. And basically, I can just do massive damage. And if we can just continue to eliminate all of these. Look at this. Look at, look at how many easy this is. Easier. So much easier for us to do this now. Just because we don't have to deal with my own allies just kind of standing in the way, being annoying, you know? This really makes a huge difference. Wow, that guy is really chunking me with his massive two-handed or whatever. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, yep, no, he's actually dead. So, that's good. 
Okay, so I'm just going to continue killing when they come up here. And if I do end up losing my blood frenzy, I might as well just close my eyes when this happens, actually, because there's no real need for me to even look at the screen. It's actually quite funny because we can't even see what the text log is doing right now because we're killing things so fast. Okay, there we go. Uh, I've lost blood frenzy now. Other, what, 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 why? What, why did you charge? See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. They charged again. They charged last time as well in the siege, siege offense and now they're charging once more. This is very weird. I don't know why they do that. It must be due to something something to do with the um, with the summoning mechanic or whatever, right? It must be due to that, right? Surely. I don't know. I guess so. Anyway. Um, <laughs> we are very clearly untouchable at this point. And I'm not entirely sure. What can we do now? What, what can we actually do? What is something that we can do? that is going to be hilarious and or challenging at the same time. I mean, obviously we're running our own faction now, which is quite cool, because we've never actually done that before in Warsaw Conquest, in the latest version at least. And, um, might be cool. Might be cool to see how that goes for a little bit of time at least. And then we'll see where we go from there. We see where we, see where, see where we end up, shall we say. And I wouldn't mind getting to the bottom of this ladder here. But yeah, you can see exactly what's happening. We're basically taking very little damage because obviously our regeneration is kicking in. I am, yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure because obviously in the previous sieges, I had the potion of instability active, but now I don't actually have that active and I am still dodging a huge amount. So I'm not entirely sure how much that was actually helping me. I guess quite a lot, but um, oh yeah, someone actually mentioned talking about combat abilities. Someone mentioned that once you become an, a Herald of Corn, uh, you might be able to go to the Arena Master and actually get Advanced Ignore Pain. So I'm thinking I might try to do that as well. Because if I can do that too, then we are going to be in an even better situation to take even less damage. Because we've al already got an insane amount of ward save. We've got insane HP. We've got amazing Iron Flash, which is obviously making things super, super nice for our Ignore Pain, because obviously that scales off Ignore Pain, so it's really good. I, oh well, technically Ignore Pain scales off Iron Flesh, but you know what I mean. You get it. Um, so yeah, that really makes a huge difference. And how many have we eliminated so far? Yep, there's only a handful of enemies remaining now, and these are the, these are the last dregs of them coming in. And I, I gotta say it, okay? I'm gonna say it. I find it much more fun to fight Chaos than I do to fight Kislev. Because Kislev, they've got these these gunners, they've got the eye switches, they've got the polar bears, and they're all just very frustrating to fight against. Whereas fighting against Chaos, it's just very straight up. You know, it's literally just, yeah, we're gonna murder. You know, we're gonna murder everyone. And that's it. You know, that's what they try to do, and that's what we try to do to them. And it's just a, a fun time all around. Anyway, 233 kills for us out of the 400 that were here. And wow, basically not getting particularly lucky with this. I could potentially... Okay, wait a minute. I could recruit her. I could recruit her. She has a hundred relation with me right now. I can't recruit him, I don't think. Gonna let him go. Okay, yeah, so uh, Chaos Dwarf Fireglaive, I'm going to take Chaos Dwarves, obviously, but everyone else can go away. Uh, there's a Chaos Charioteer there as well. I'm actually wondering whether this is even going to work. If this works and I'm actually able to persuade her to join us, this is going to be an exceptional swing of power in our favor. Because she's really good, you know, she's got some great stats and everything, so it would be wonderful if we could actually make that work. Um, so let's see, let's see what happens. Let's, uh, let's speak to her right away. Oh, really? You're free to go? You remain my prisoner? Oh, okay. Um, not sure. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I have to do it a different way? Isn't it take an action or something like that, maybe? I can't remember. Yes, recruit some of your prisoners to your party. No one accepts the offer. Oh. Well, that's... <laughs> That's kind of disappointing, actually. I thought to myself, oh, yes, my, my party is actually not too bad, to be, to be honest. But 
No, apparently it is. Uh, oh, you went in again, you absolute imbecile. Okay, well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to defend this off screen, I guess. And then we're going to start the next episode in hopefully better, uh, better, sh shall we say, a better stance. Because I'd like to fight Kislev uh, and eliminate them from the game. Because obviously if I can expand outward here, we're going to have a really nice little pocket of territory, which would be quite nice. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.